make the correct decision. They're going to try and down, run down Noob. The arrow's going to miss, and that is going to result in Noob's death. And maybe they can even get Omar here, though he does have to do that. He doesn't have the BKB, but he will manage to get away from that win ready. Created enough time that it looks like with Dorachu here with the Omni Slash, they can push back against Quest, do enough damage that they have to retreat. You can see Noob's getting out. Malik's going to be caught, so they do manage to kill two off of that one. Quinn, I guess it's Arena, as he tried another Hex Landing. Oh, on another big be on Ace. He's going to be torn apart here. The Telekinesis throwing him a bit of distance away. No force but TA 2000 just keeps going with that BKB. Oh, looking pretty deep. He's probably going to exchange his life for this. And try and keep him alive for as long as possible with some heals. But the Terror Blade is going to work on the Tier 3. Pull back in. Another Nullifier. This time put it on to Quinn. But he pops his BKB and is okay. Gets the kill on the support. New buyback immediately. As TA 2000 is unsure where to go right now. Fight around that high ground war. Nice they can force shot. it. Big burst damage on the slash. Is it going to be enough? TA 2000 needs, needs a heal. He gets off the BKB. He gets off the Sunder on the Ace. A big turnaround from Quest. But can he fight through Jirachi on a second life? They're going to be able to blow up Ace. Focus yes, fire, still man. stuck in this focus fire. Noob, he's oh, going to be left without his seen. carry and Quest. Oh, no. They sacrifice somebody and we sacrifice somebody. Though... Mid one was not happy about that. Noob will actually get out. They do manage to get the Sunray off in the turnaround. They're actually maybe oh. going to be able to Wait, kill Duraccio. Duraccio's taking out. He dies. What the hell just no happened? No way. They got the Psy Supernova off. And what a turn. An expectation that Quest was going to be losing the fight. And how many heroes would they lose? Now, they're still going to get two heroes picked off. But trading that for the Juggernaut? I think you absolutely take that if you're... It's going to stun nobody. Not even the Juggernaut comes back for the Omni Slash in time. Now they're going to pull back Kauri. He's going to be stuck. They leave him behind. The rest of Quest desperate to get out of here. A very much a lost in... He oh, runs that arrow. into the most terrible arrow of his career. Now he's going to come back on his second life, though. Is he going to be okay? A spear away. Arrow, Omar, creating the space for the rest of Quest to be able to get away. But they've lost their Aegis. They want more off of it, and they will have it. Malik, he'll be brought back into his death. So two heroes for that Aegis. And two, he's trying to spin himself out of here, but they realize he is so isolated from his team. They kill him, and Game and Gladiators are going to lose more now, potentially, with the refresh going out. Sign the Vice immediately trying to jump and slow down Ace. Telekinesis to puts him away. That's Storm. That Storm back in. Oh, the catcher and Kauri, though. Where's Meanwhile, the damage? Noob is going to be able to get some more damage out. Terror Blade is reigning supreme here as he's running away. Wait a minute. He feels like they can't take that fight anymore. He's backing away because the buyback on Duraccio. He doesn't want to fight this carry any longer. And he does not get caught in the Omni Slash. He thinks about going back in now. Let's see if Nuke can get out. Blink away. Gets out in time. But they have to leave behind Malik. So the two supports and the offlaner die in exchange for Juggernaut dying in... They double go for spear! Like double spear! That's a beautiful setup with the arrow on top of that one. They're going to lose their Rubik almost immediately. But so too does Malik die. They're going to try and chase out with that double damage. Try and catch these supports. They got him with the glide here. The jump in. Omni Slash going out. No blinking in into the static storm. While TA 2000 fights up against Quinn. Fire on He's Quinn. getting a He's gone. the null fire on him and he kills him. Not good for TA 2000. A Swiss Slash going out and he doesn't have a Sunder to stay alive. An immediate buyback from him. No Quinn. No Malik. Expensive buybacks here for Quest. And they now smoke they are up with absolutely no meta, all in. No Supernova. I mean, you gotta force it, right? No Wind Ranger for 25. This is your chance. No Omni Slash as well. Malik, he sees his opportunity to be a flake and gets in the arena. Only catch the Static Storm. That's Static Storm putting three inside. TA 2000 desperately trying to fight up against uh, Duraccio. He can't be good. He can't be He can't get up with Sunray. Sunray. No, he can't do it. Too many Lincolns. Too many options for gaming gladiators, and now they have to fight through without their Terra Blade. Noob, he's getting big damage out of this Aghanim Scepter. Don't get me wrong, he killed the Rubik, but eventually his BKB is going to fail. Eventually he's going to be pulled back with the Glimpse. The, oh, the Thunder Strike, a little bit more damage. Celery, the support is trying to kill him with actual attacks. That changes this entire game if that lands. Yeah. The triple Lincoln Sphere for Gaming has caused a mountain of problems. And Gaming Gladiators, 30 seconds till the Terra Blade is back up, and they could just go straight for the throne. Yeah, Quinn is going to go for it. Focus Fire, they have a glyph, yes. This might just be the game. I don't think But he's got him. a refresher. He's going to re-PKB. What are you going to do? You can't refresh your, your glyph. Quinn Bulwark? is just laying into it. Bulwark, he's trying just to redirect no, some of the attacks. It's never going to be enough. The arena trying to block. Mar trying to make a run for it, but the zombies are slowing him down. And they very likely is going to be your first blood going over to him. Alive, the Malphys with the Hex. They change oh, those stuff. They get the kill on Quinn. What a beautiful... Not at all. Long sip in. Going for the kill on Omar. Quinn. 
not going to be kept down. But the rest of the team, the Game of Gladiators, is now chocolate. here. The response with the Scotted Blast from Noob to try and stop Quinn from chasing down Malik isn't going to be good enough. And now Jiracho even comes back in, pops a little bit of extra mana to get the Stone Case off, chasing away the rest of the quest. But TA2000 is now here with the Chrono Sphere. What's he going to put it used to? Sticks onto Quinn, might be able to get this kill if he gets the bashes for it. Omar's going to line nice up inhale. a beautiful stun. That's going to be fantastic. But here comes Ace. TA2000 needs to time walk backwards now before the Doom can catch up to him. And now he's going to get bursted down. Can't get any spells off. Very big item as he's kind of their front line this game. Yep. He has to be the one going in, setting the fight up, giving vision. No one else wants to show. They'll They're going to go for Celery. Pretty deep here to collect a position five, but nobody from Gaming Gladiators is close by, so it's a wise choice. Quest get a kill and a tower. Here with the Chronos here is going to go out. They're going to try and blow up the Medusa off the black hole oh, behind the two. Nice. Catching the Undying is perfect. And there it goes. Jirachi is dead, but TA2000 is going to be caught up. Disabled gets off the Manta. Got Time walks over to the side. And now the Storm Spirit's dead. Do they have a Disabled? Does Amar have anything? He doesn't. No stuns. Quest. Oh, he, he got him after the Illusion Rune and got him with the Rod of Atos, but it wasn't quite enough. He was able to survive long enough. He gets the zip away. It would have been an incredible catch from Noob, but they still get so much on the side of Quest, they will take out Durancio, two supports, and the Aegis of the Storm Spirit. Some of the turnaround potential from gaming, yeah, positioning these ults is crucial for Quest right now as they smoke aggressively to get Perfect, but the counter is there from Ace. That they throw up the Chrono Spirit and only caught it undying. A great supernova, but it's not going to save Omar. And without Omar, Quinn is now free to play the team fight aggressively into TA2000, trying to lock it down. Time walk away into the side, a one for one exchange, not too bad, but running low on ultimate. You still, still have hole. the black hole though. You cannot clump here if you're gaming. Malik, he's looking. He's got it. two heroes inside of the black hole. Instantly, the Coddle's dead. There is a response from Quinn. He's going to stop the kids. He's trying to kill the Snapfire. And it looks like Dorachi is going to be able to do oh, that. And do kill the 2000 and Malik. It was too much. The damage was too much. For Is there enough damage? TA2000 with the buyback here. Both him and Noob committing to this fight. It's a kill. They have to get in this situation. They committed too much for oh, it. Oh, got it. And they're going to be able to get the Coddle as well. Tofu. Kill off of this one, and Ace is going to be stalled up significantly. He does have BKB, but TA2000 does have Chronosphere, and he's going to put it to use. Finish too. off the Doom, and they could go for it. The Undying as well. Celery got caught in the back line, so no chance of a grab ally. Malik jumping forward. A few more seconds till the Black Hole, the but a few seconds is coming in. Noob laying into Celery. Another buyback out from the side. He got all three. Oh, the three man Black Hole. It is absolutely perfect for Malik. He sees the opportunity to take down Gaming Gladiators. Doom back up, he's gonna go for the black hole. Oh, just and on the range. Like the Doom just on the edge of it. Then finally gets canceled. They do have the grab ally as well. A cookie given over to TA2000. Back to the Doom, down, but he's popped out of it. He popped out of the Doom. He got the trouble with the Doom. TA2000 jumps back off oh, the, the blast. blast. Right in the middle of the Chronosphere. He was just about to take out Ace and Quinn, but Tofu's blast saves the team fight. What a combination from Quest! They keep their carry alive, and now Gaming Gladiators panicky. They're gonna maybe start buying back. They do have the a hole. second black hole. He got them all. One. Gonna be able to catch three. Gaming Gladiators clip of the Doom is gonna be able to stop it. Quinn, he jumps in with the Orchid, grabbing the OT. He doesn't die, but he got the gold enough for be able to get another buyback. Quinn, he's going back in, trying to catch more. TA2000 playing up against Megas, playing up against five of Gaming very easily. It's so many hits to kill it, man. That talent is destroying Quest right now. There's no way you're taking these tombstones down anymore. There are a lot of them. The ults are coming back up slowly but surely. And second divine on Noob. That Doing is your win condition. Doing thousand damage a hit. Oh, oh there's it Chris. is. They don't have a save this time around, but they do have the four staff. Looks like Amar is going to be caught in the AoE Doom. is catching so many heroes. They kill the Phoenix. And look at Malik. He's going to die as well. TA2000. A time walk over to the side. Pops Malik. Jumps back in. Trying to stick on Durant. Bash they for your the life. Be able to keep their agent alive. Oh, beautiful. He survives. Hit. Back in. A time walk away from the Doom. Right as Ace tried to get the initiation. Now Quinn is dead for two minutes. It's a three versus four to be able to hold this one. A jump forward immediately from Durantio. He's hacked. And he wins this fight. Another Doom going out. Durantio laying the damage. The AoE control is there. TA2000 dies. Oh, the Snapfire dies as well. GG.